Hey church, uh, we had an incredible response to yesterday's online gathering where we talked about racism and the history of the white church in America. Um, we had this moment of just laying it all out, just kind of brutal honesty, and um, we talked about the reality that you can't um, raise your fist in solidarity with the oppressed until you bow your head and lament as um, one who was part of a system of oppressing. And so um, as a result, a lot of people have asked lots of questions, and we just wanted to um, lean into that and provide some resources for you guys. Um, first would just be the resources that helped shape yesterday's message. I mentioned them in the, um, in the message, um, two books, uh, The Color of Compromise by Jim R. Tisby and Unsettling Truths by Mark Charles and Sung Chan Ra. Um, those books provide uh, a historical account of what happened here in America um, and how uh, racism was embedded into the system, but, but even more specifically how the church was really specifically involved in that. They did incredible work, um, and it was just inc- like the way that especially J. Marr was able to, to lay out uh, a framework um, as well as a timeline, as well as like the historical facts and data and dates and um, even specific quotes and people, but, but also like a cultural commentary understanding um, how that all came together. That is it's just so good. I highly recommend that you read it. We pulled extensively from that material to lay out that, that framework and that understanding. And, and I think it's just really, really important. Um, and so I, I strongly encourage you to check out both of those. Um, but I, we also want to point you to more. We also want to point you to other things because uh, this isn't a message that just came last week from um, a couple of books as a response. It's actually a message that has been brewing and stirring for quite some time in us, the church, and me, and in Christine. And we just wanted to share a little bit more uh, of, of the story of how we got to this place. Um, so Christine, would you, I mean, I think it starts more with you than with me. <laughs> well, I mean, I think this whole last couple of weeks has been a lot of reflection of, of my own journey of understanding racism in America, like understanding my own um, white supremacy and fragility and that's been like a 20 year journey at this point of reading and listening and the the voices who I'm listening to and um and who's teaching me and I think like if I could break it down into two things it would be just like relationship like so much um of my understanding of race in America has come out of my relationship with our neighbors and and friends and then leaders who have invested in me and and like sat with me Mm -hmm. and um and then also just education like the who I'm listening to who I'm reading I had a friend challenge me one year to not read any authors um any white authors for the whole year and I I I just every week read a different author of color and it totally reshaped how Mm -hmm. I saw the world in many ways and and so I think um yeah, we want to offer resources that people can connect and, and be either begin or continue on the journey. And I think that's the important thing that we're saying is like, this is like an ongoing learning. Mm-hmm. Like I learned so many things from your message yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. And it's like, how do we continue to posture ourselves in a way that we're, um, that learning is informing our action. Not that we're just learning or consuming information, but that we're have informed action by right. the things that we're learning is informing how we act. And so um, we're going to be launching two book clubs for the summer. Uh, we're calling them Backyard Book Clubs. And we're highlighting two books for right now. And like we said, there's all these resources. They will be on our website. We're going to have a web page um, with different resources available to you. That will be up this week. Um, and then you can sign up for the book club. We're doing two books right now, Rethinking Incarceration by Dominique M. Gilliard, who's become just like an expert on the issues of criminal justice and mass incarceration in America. And then White Awake, which is by a, um, Pastor Daniel Hill. Um, both of these guys I would consider friends of mine and um, have really shaped my understanding. And we're gonna be able to go through those together in groups um, this summer. We're gonna start in the next couple weeks, but you can sign up now. And then we're also gonna do a video series, kind of like a movie discussion around the color of compromise um, that Phil was talking about the book. There's also a video series that goes with that. Yeah, um, I, I know even for me, um, I said it, I, Christine, I think it starts with you because in a lot of ways, in moving to Costa Mesa, Christine was one of the first people that Jen and I had met and um, she's just become a mentor to me in this conversation, in this discussion. And she challenged me the same way that she was challenged. 
um, a while back. That was over a year ago, maybe more. Or you Almost just, three years ago. It was a three years yeah. ago. Um, she just challenged me and said, why are you reading all these white people? And you need to be reading people um, of color. And so she gave me this list of books that I should read. I bought them all, and I've been trying to work through them. And uh, that's been a lot of this journey is um, just relationship, conversation, constant reading and growth and unlearning and relearning, um, trying to figure out what does that mean? How do we act according to that? What does it mean to be part of the kingdom in this sense? Um, and t- she took us to CCDA, uh, the Christian Community Development Association conference last year and all these speakers in this community. It just like that was where it began to click that it, the, the church's specific roles and in the injustice that's happened in our country. And it, it like has coalesced to this moment where we just said, man, we got to draw a line and we got to stand up. And it's time to speak up and it's time to act and we're we're in and so we're going to provide a lot of those resources as well some of these books that are on the table um, we're going to put it all on the website Um, we're going to create as many opportunities through videos and books and conversations to continue this learning process as we continue to learn to be a people that embody the life of the kingdom in every way so excited to be on the journey with you guys and excited to see what god does next